The other night, Ashley and my daughter Liza said their prayers. And little Liza, all of 10 years old, said to Ashley, we should pray for the woman. It's a lot of wisdom from a 10 year old. And little Liza wasn't the only one to show pure resilience and courage throughout this entire process. One of President Trump's key campaign promises from the beginning was to add conservative justices to the Supreme Court. Despite Democrats trying to obstruct the process, President Trump stood firm in his commitment to preserve conservatism on the nation's highest court. I'm Bailey Byers, and you're watching Episode 4 of Promises Made, Promises Kept. President Trump's then Supreme Court nominees displayed a whirlwind of courage and were ultimately able to withstand leftist backlash and attacks, playing a key role in yet another promise fulfilled. President Trump made a vow to nominate judges committed to a strict constitutional interpretation. Now let's take a trip down memory lane to explore the president's vision for the future regarding the nation's highest court. I am looking to appoint judges very much in the mold of Justice Scalia. I'm looking for judges, and I've actually picked 20 of them, so that people would see highly respected, highly thought of, and actually very beautifully reviewed by just about everybody, but people that will respect the Constitution of the United States. President Trump first fulfilled this promise back in January 2017, when he nominated Neil Gorsuch to serve on the Supreme Court to fill the spot of late Justice Scalia. Neil Gorsuch was nominated after serving on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit. This may be the most transparent judicial selection process in history. Months ago, as a candidate, I publicly presented a list of brilliant and accomplished people to the American electorate and pledged to make my choice from among that list. Gorsuch faced backlash from the Democrats, who suggested he would be a puppet of the president, unable to interpret the law fairly. Gorsuch fired back, ensuring the American people he was the right person for the job, with a commitment to upholding the U.S. Constitution. The now justice has a long career history involved in law, and also served during the Reagan administration. President Trump made it clear from the beginning Gorsuch was a critical pick in preserving conservatism on the Supreme Court. I promise to select someone who respects our laws and is representative of our Constitution and who loves our Constitution, and someone who will interpret them as written. Justice Gorsuch was ultimately confirmed by the upper chamber in a 54 to 45 vote in early April 2017. Little did he know the president would be able to fulfill the same promise yet again with another nomination in July 2018. But President Trump's second nominee, now Justice Brett Kavanaugh, would face a much longer, more grueling and exhaustive confirmation process. Justice Kavanaugh and his family were put through the ringer as he endured character assassination, grueling obstruction, continuous harassment, and a complete lack of regard for due process. A firestorm little did they know would ignite just around the corner. I will not be intimidated into withdrawing from this process. You've tried hard. You've given it your all. No one can question your effort. But your coordinated and well-funded effort to destroy my good name and destroy my family will not drive me out. Kavanaugh's tumultuous confirmation process was categorized first by a California professor, Christine Blasey Ford, who came forward alleging Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her at a high school party back in the early 1980s. The woman was invited to testify before lawmakers during the hearings, and many quickly realized her story was changing and there was virtually no evidence to corroborate her claims. 
During the process, leftist lawmakers abandoned the notion, innocent until proven guilty, and immediately assumed the accusations were correct. Many on the right categorized the circus hearings as politically motivated. In fact, reports surfaced suggesting his accuser sent a letter to California Senator Dianne Feinstein in July, though she reportedly sat on it for months. Kavanaugh and his family received death threats, were harassed by the media, and endured horrific confirmation hearings for a month amid an FBI investigation. They're actually con artists because they know how quality this man is, and they've destroyed a man's reputation, and they want to destroy it even more. And I think people are going to see that in the midterms, what they've done to this family, what they've done to these children, these beautiful children of his, and what they've done to his wife. In the weeks following, the first accuser coming forward, two more women, followed suit. Meanwhile, the FBI investigated Ford's claims, but found no evidence to corroborate her allegations. The lives of Kavanaugh, his wife, and both of his daughters were threatened daily, and his children were even escorted out of the hearing room amid the chaos. Kavanaugh repeatedly pleaded his innocence as many in the hearing room would protest, screaming and yelling in support of his accusers. The witnesses named by his accuser were unable to corroborate her claims, as her story continued to change. Despite the character assassination, Kavanaugh reiterated through the process his sympathy for Ford, saying he did not doubt she was assaulted somewhere at some point, but that perpetrator was not him. President Trump stood by his nominee throughout the process, and Kavanaugh and his family were ultimately able to withstand the travesty thrust upon them. What happened to the Kavanaugh family violates every notion of fairness, decency, and due process. Our country, a man or a woman, must always be presumed innocent unless and until proven guilty. And with that, I must state that you, sir, under historic scrutiny, were proven innocent. Thank you. Now Justice Kavanaugh was ultimately sworn in on October 6, 2018, just hours after the Senate voted to confirm him in a 50 to 48 vote. President Trump praised Kavanaugh and his family for dealing with the chaos, as they remained a critical role in yet another promise kept. Though the president is responsible for yet another vow fulfilled, he could not have done it without the unparalleled courage and resilience of Justice Kavanaugh and his family. Thanks for watching. Right Side Broadcasting runs on your donations and your support. If you're interested in donating, you can do that through the YouTube Super Chat at the bottom of your screen, PayPal, Patreon, or rsbnetwork.com slash donate. To learn more about Promises Made and Promises Kept, check out www.promiseskept.com.